How you doing? This door doesn't close. It's like gets stuck. I'm gonna try and fix that today. Ready? Let's go. You wanna go outside? Let's go. Gotta let them out. That's the whole purpose of that. This has been driving me crazy for, well, you know, those like you, you've got, how are we gonna fit? I keep slamming the door, I know. But, um, tool time, right? This door works just fine. Down into the basement. In here is a rarely used tool. That is part of our solution. This is part of the problem. Your shop maybe looks like, if it does, welcome to my world. That's gonna be handy. But let's bring some of these as well. Barely used, but when you need it, you got it. So in the before times, I uh, thought I could fix this by using uh, the rubber mallet because there is a gap between this upper and this lateral here. And, and then I put in those screws and you're like, well, that, that should have fixed it. Well, at least that's what I thought, but. What's going on here is I thought that this was a mortise and tenon. So the, ten, the piece of this wood would stick into a slot in this wood and then those screws would hold it all together. You know, you go to a yard sale and you see old tools sometimes and you're like, do I really need that? I don't use this a lot. Actually, my buddy Mikey K gave this to me, but you can get this at a yard sale. Mikey K, RIP, good friend of mine. So by the magic of television, this goes across the complete top of this. Screw this in and see if we can close that crack up. Oh, it does. This is kind of, this is kind of right on the edge of the board of the door here. So I'm wondering, I'm worried this might slip, but look at that. Look how we close that gap up. It's always good when the glass doesn't break. It's a plus, plus in your life. I can still, I can still turn that and I'm not like really herning down on it. I like that word, hern. And that is substantially smaller. What are you thinking? Huh? So get yourself a drill bit that is a larger diameter than, I'm shooting this off my phone because I left my big camera at home. Um, this diameter here needs to be able to go in to the hole we're gonna drill with this. But let's just do it. My idea here is to screw these two together because they're, they're just mated and that's no longer holding. So I want to screw them together. But I don't have a screw long enough to go from the edge all the way in. And that would be kind of a pain to try and get that all the way in there anyway. My idea here is to drill a big hole on the end. I'm gonna first start with a smaller diameter and then switch to the larger one. So that goes to about there. Bigger diameter. I love that sound there. Just like that. I have been struggling with this for, well, the camera is upstairs, which she could tell you how long this has been annoying. And I finally was just like, I'm gonna fix it today. All right, so cell phone video, fixing, making my wife's life better. And that's what my world's all about. Okay, that's plenty good. I'd like to drill a pilot hole. So my, I'm already to here. I would like to do a thin hole with a thin drill bit to here. That's what a pilot hole is. It's, it's not quite the diameter of your screw. It's a thinner diameter, smaller diameter, but this will make this a lot easier to go in. So the problem is my drill is out here. I want to drill actually in here. Let me see what I got. You always need these, right? Oh, oh. oh I forgot. Oh, I, got that. I love these magnetic things. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, let's 
not deep enough. It might work. This is kind of why I'm a little bit of a, um, I just keep little stuff in little pile, well, piles, yeah. Um, but sometimes you need something. There, there's a, yeah, it needs a cleaning down there. But this, let's go. As I was pulling it out, I'm like, I wonder if it's gonna leave the drill bit in there. And yeah. All right, well, needle those pliers, maybe. So do you make about six, I'm getting my stairs in. I'm doing lots of stairs, um, which is good. So if you were needle those pliers, where you would be in the electrical department, which is upstairs because I'm working on something, but that means I can go use the stairs some more. Wait, 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 wait. maybe in here. Oh, there we go. All right. Isn't it nice when something works? But we're not done, so. Oh. I'm gonna go with a two inch screw, okay? There's almost no gap there. Um, I'm gonna put another screw in, cause. Yeah. Can I do this one handed? Okay, so the gap is closed, but still, this is a 70 year old house. So it's very likely that this door frame has warped or twisted, you know, settling of the house, all that kind of thing. Wait for it, where is phase two? I don't use a block plane all the time, but when you need one, you got it. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Put in your shop somewhere nice. Nice plane. We go up. Um, I could set this depth a little, so there's a little more blade exposed, but I'm just gonna go like this for now and see what happens. Plus I love the, the curly, curly bits that peel off. All right, it needs a little more, but we did it. You and I did it. Sometimes it just takes a bunch of tools. Don't be afraid to like collect tools, okay? You never know when you're gonna need a spare needle nose pliers because you're at the needle nose pliers it's up in the attic basically. So thank you again. Thanks for being with me. You wanna spend some more time? Should be a video floating here. More information about me, the text below the video. See you in the next one.